it. So many of you from Zambia, you have been writing me. My WhatsApp is full. My WhatsApp is burning. See, I want, you are not seeing what is happening in Zambia. See, I want to see what you put us into. See, I want to see the person you made us to vote. See, I want to see this. See, I want to see that. I'm not quiet because uh, I'm not seeing what is happening. I'm seeing everything that is happening, including those that you have not seen, including those when I, if I can come here and open my mouth and say it, I'm school dismissed. But I cannot. Why? One thing, the number one reason why I'm quiet is because opposition in Zambia, they're not serious. They're not serious. They are jokers. They are, they are time wasters. So I, I discovered to say, look, what if I, I come out and start fighting for these guys? How serious are they to take over power? You want to take over power from Akin the gentleman, and you're in your bed posting pictures. This is the same politics that HH was doing before I came in to help him. And this is the, the type of politics he was doing. Politics of, of staying on the bed and typing. Typing nonsense and writing nonsense. If you want to, if you want to unseat a sitting government, if you want to take over power, power is not easy. It's just now that I'm looking at people that have made power look like it's very, very easy. Anyone want to be a president in Zambia? Every gym and jack, every fool will just wake up and want to be a president. It's not easy. It needs serious commitment. If I come now and say, start fighting a church, start destroying a church, start pointing at or exposing him, who am I going to point to you and say, this is the alternative? Because I don't want to be among those fools that always say false prophet, false prophet. Everyone is a false prophet. Show us the real prophet. You can't show us the real prophet. No. I want when I start, when I'm moving, this is the person. This is an alternative. As we speak today, they are not serious. Who are we going to use to replace HH? Is it that Galungu? Edgar is still on his bed. He's not ready. He's not ready to fight. To destroy HH, to, to, to bring down the government of HH will not take more than two months. It will crack and start falling. But who is going to replace HH? That is the question. The person that is going to replace HH, is it that Galungu? It's not serious. He's still on his bed. He doesn't want to do politics. Or maybe he doesn't understand that. And I think this is the first time that he's going to really do politics. Politics, many things must happen. I see, uh, okay, I wanted to have a rally. And the police say, the rally will not go on. As a politician that really know what you want, you just sit down and say, uh -huh, because the police said, oh, uh, there will not be a rally. So there will be no rally. It means you, have, you, will not, you, will be, you, you are not serious. Do you know the reason why PF was regarded as a brutal regime? It's because... UPNT was confrontational. They were able to go where the police said, don't go. And when they go, the police will pounce on them. And it will be on record that police is pouncing on innocent people. That is how politics is done. Police just tell you, don't do rally. Eh, we are not going to do it. Because then you are not serious. You are not going anywhere. Just to me, I prefer to help a church to rule Zambia for more than 50 years. For more than 100 years. As much as he wants. He can actually finish ruling and hand over the power to his son. Than for me to support an opposition that is not serious. You don't want to go and fight. You want to sit on your bed and you want people to support you. At this point in time, if Eddie Alonso wanted to be the president, he was supposed to be moving from one chief to another chief. One community to another community. Don't be afraid of the police. Police brutality, arrest, theaters, is part of politics. How many times was Satan Chagast? Did he die? No. You must be arrested. You must provoke the police. You must confront the police. I don't want to talk politics. But look at this. It's like... Most of the time, the people, this is exactly what HH was doing when he was in opposition. He was too comfortable. People around me are like, hey, you win an election. Hey, you have already won. Ah, things are not okay in Zambia. I said, no. No. Many of you heard, even when I came like, I said, leave your bed. Go and do politics. The more they arrest you, the more you win sympathy. The more they beat you, the more you win sympathy. How can you know that the police is brutal when you are not, uh, conf when you are not conf confrontational? You want to rule a country and you are on your bed. You think that power will be brought to your bed? No. Power is not given. Power is taken. If you really, really want to, if, as it is now, if you want to be a president, you must rise up and become serious. You are so slow. That's why I, I, I will never take part of this. Because you are so slow. You don't know where you are going. You are so relaxed. That's not how politics is done. In politics, you must confront the law. You must. If Sata was alive, and what happened at KCM happened, and if I bring the file of what happened at KCM, <laughs> Zambia will start. I don't want to touch that because I don't want to fight HH when the opposition is useless. I mean, it's better to remain in frying pan than to jump from frying pan to fire. You, you, yours is just to take picture and post on social media. Yours is just to take picture and uh, and, uh, and and write the Lord is good. Those those are nonsense. Social media is for us. Leave social media for us. Go in, go outside and do politics. If Sata was alive today and what happened at KCM happened, Sata would have gone to the Ministry of Mind to cause chaos. To make trouble, to, to put documents out, and in the process of doing that, there will be confrontation with the police. The news will be all over. That alone will give you more than 500,000 votes in a day. But look at the type of uh, opposition leaders that you, that you have there in Zambia. You are on the bed. Billy Millie say 500,000. I've told you before. People do not lose election because they didn't do well. 
million mil can still be at two million, and then church will go ahead and win and win election. It's not how we, things people don't lose election because things are not okay or because they're not ruling well. People will lose election because there are forces, and as we speak to the opposition, don't have those forces. They are friends, they are cowards, they are they are, they are players. Who who, 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 I mean, who would want to go and do politics? There is no politics taking place. That's why I'm quiet. That's why I'm quiet. That's why you don't see me talk. I prefer to support HH than to support somebody who is not serious. I, I prefer for HH to rule Zambia for more than 300 years than to support somebody who is not serious. You must be serious. You must wake up and do politics. When you wake up to do politics, it's easy for you to win election. Especially with this government of UPND, anyone can win election. The way it is, anyone. But you must be serious. You're not serious. That's why you see me, I'm quiet. That's why you see me about talk. Have you seen me doing my night broadcast? I can crash the ZBC news. I, 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 I can I can put the country on a total stand field in one broadcast at night. But I don't do it because I don't want to support people who are not serious. People who are who are joking. They are joking. I mean, they are joking. They want to win election from their bedrooms. They want to win election from their from their uh, 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 from their kitchen. That I don't support things like that. If you are serious with politics, then we support you. Many of us. I mean, ninety percent of us. Have been disappointed by the UPN. When you hear the Catholics, when you when you look at what happened between the Catholics and the UPN, you will know that many people are disappointed. But to tell you the truth, even in this disappointment, it's better to allow a church to continue than to support people who are not serious. Until Edgar Lung wake up and become serious, Fred member wake up and become serious, then we are not going to do anything. We lose nothing. I mean, where we are seated, if we don't fight the government, we lose nothing. If we fight the government, we lose nothing. To me, I'm not there. I'm not somebody you can say, arrest, arrest. I mean, <laughs> it spoke. I don't have, I, I'm not, it, it doesn't affect me in any way. It doesn't. It doesn't. I lose nothing. Even if I take to rule for one million years, I, I lose nothing. It is you. It is you. So that's why I'm quiet. Many of you think that UPN gave me uh, uh, one million dollar. UPN, some said UPN gave me one three hundred thousand dollar. I didn't receive three hundred thousand from UPN. I'm quiet because the people that are supposed to be in front, the people that we are supposed to present to, to the to the public, are not serious themselves. They are not willing to suffer. They are not willing to confront the system. I mean, police wake up tomorrow and tell you, no, you are not going to conduct the rally. For how long is this going to happen? You cannot defy. I mean, Ghana, let them come and tear you. Let them come and arrest you. Once that happens, it will be on record that this regime is a brutal regime. If you are not gathering and provoking them, how are they going to be called a brutal regime? That's why I love Sata. You know, all politicians I've known in Zambia have worked with Zambia. Sata is, is, a, is a man. If it was him, if it was him, what happened at KCM by now? The country was going to be on fire. The, not even that. There are so many things that I, I, I don't want to talk about here because who are we fighting for? There are so many things, un uncountable things. If it was Sata, eh, in, in, in a whole country, foreigners came, flew into the country with a private jet, switched off the whole light and the cameras at the airport. Foreigners switched off the whole light at the airport. Foreigners, they came with guns and they came with gold, they came with dollars. By now, there is no single opposition leader. That is able to go and tell the police, the court, the bank. Telling them to say, who are the people behind this? All of you are quiet. We are, don't allow me to insult you people. I don't want to insult these opposition leaders. I don't want to insult you. You are quiet. That case is sleeping under. That case is going under. That case is dying. You can't, you can't even go to even one person as a leader, opposition leader, go to the bank and confront the case. The Egyptian is saying, I brought in seven million dollars. How much has they declared? And everybody's quiet. Who is the person that switched off the, the light? Because of one plan. Because of one criminal individual. The entire operation of the airport stop. Do you know how, how dangerous that it is? To a nation. A whole nation. Criminals came and switched off the light. And the cameras at the airport. And that case has gone under. And the opposition is quiet. You are useless people. Don't allow me to, to insult you. If you are not ready to fight. You must sit your, you must You must get out. You must, you must not disturb anybody. Let UPND proceed. Let us support UPND. If you are not ready to fight, if you don't want to do politics, you must go to hell. You must not disturb anybody. You must go to hell. There are many things that are going on that if I can come, if I can just do one broadcast at night, one like this, everywhere will shake. But the opposition, I don't know, I don't know what is, I don't know what is wrong with them. Who are we fighting? Who are we going to fight? Who are we going to fight? Cowards. You are running away from the police. How many times was HH arrested before he became president? How many times was Sat arrested before he became president? Who told you that taking power is very easy? Taking power is not easy. You must be confrontational. You must. 